Hello family, I hope you guys are doing okay. I've been working with a lot of stuff lately. I do have another business that I have to run. It's been taking me a lot of time the past week. So today I'm gonna try something with a stream sheen. Uh, this is the color pink tourmaline, tourmaline. En español, turmalina rosa, right? Um, and we're gonna be doing a, a dirty pour. Uh, but I'm going to include in my receipt the milk paint. So that's the first one I'm gonna layer down there. I wanna see how the stream sheen and the milk paint reacts, so We'll see. I don't have a lot of milk paint, so. So let's begin by adding the tallow blue that I prepare, which is a mix of uh, tallow blue and, and artist love uh, black. So you see, I put a very good amount there. Let me make room. Okay, now I'm gonna add some taro blue. And I'm gonna be just then I'm gonna be moving with the uh, ultramarine. This is Master Touch. Lake blue, as you see, I'm using a lot of shades of blue, but that will change very fast. That's gonna be changing right after a little milk paint there in the middle. Then I'm gonna start layering, I'm gonna use some copper. This will give a little earthy tones too. I'm going to start with a, a little Soho red. jam there. And then I'm gonna use the Queen Acridon Violet. A little orange. Telling, I'm putting every single color that I can. This is a little violet at the end. I 
I have plenty of paint there, so let me just make some room. I'm still putting everything back together after the expo. That was a success, by the way. I wanna say hello to everybody that was there. We had a lot of uh, good moments. And I expect that to happen again when we go to Seattle next year, in April. So if you live in the West Coast, you may consider visiting us there. You like it. We had a lot of fun. We learned a lot. So what I'm planning on doing, as I'm telling you, is I'm gonna be using the extreme sheen in the as a base because I want to see how it if I get the pearls. I think I'm having a lot of paint here. Here we go. So, squeezing the cup. I don't want to lose white paint that always comes at the, at the end, so. I'm gonna give a, a quick torch. Remember, I don't use silicone anywhere here, so. All the cells that you're gonna be looking or because of the milk paint and maybe that chin. Now we're gonna be just starting to move this around. Stretching it to all corners. Try not to lose that center part there. It looks nice. Come on, here, don't lose, don't get lost. Let's slow down a little. gets down here. Perfect. Let's bring it back. So far, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Let's give it a 15 to 20 minutes to see what the reaction is. Right now, I'm guessing this is looking very good. And just gonna torch it again a little more to see if I get some bubbles out if there are any.
and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna be just shutting down the camera now and coming back half an hour later, okay? Okay guys, this is half an hour later and I'm impressed. This is a very, very nice piece. You can see the extreme sheen pearls that came through. Very nice. You can see all the colors that I use. You can see the red, you can see the orange. More cells there. The copper. The cloud effect. Very nice. So this is something I'm gonna be just uh, keep working on with different tones of colors because I really like this one. So I hope you guys also like it. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and, and hope to see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also hit the bell to get notifications.